the new news, she's slaying the city. No makeup, just wake up and still giving the free. Get the lights, camera, and she cuts as big as a movie. And grab a seat and now tune with disastrous beauty. Hey, love bugs. It's your girl, Disastrous Beauty, coming back with the voiceover. So the unit I will be reviewing today was sent to me by Clay Hair. Shout out to you, Clay for sending me this unit. I really do appreciate it. Right here, I am showing you guys what all came in the packaging, along with these headbands. These headbands are so stinking cute, and it made me initially think that this unit was a headband unit, but alas, it is not, okay? So this unit is a closure lace closure part wig and right here i'm showing you guys the cap construction it does come with two pounds in the front one coming in the back with the jessica straps and the unit is 24 inches long honey and it is a curly unit and yeah that is it for now for all the details and specs if you are interested in more details and specs about this unit then please continue to watch and i will see you love bugs in the outro bye <laughs>
I don't see a link where I can go directly to the unit, but they did give me those details. And if you are interested in just seeing what the wig looks like on the site, if I don't have a picture or something up here, then just click on the link down below in the description box and it should take you directly to the wig. Okay, so now as far as um some some details and specs for me okay so it does state that the wig is 24 inches so it's pretty long and it's to me in my opinion it is 24 inches curled up okay so i feel like it would be longer straightened out okay so it's, it's a pretty long wig especially on me because i'm not a very tall person i am 5'4 so i'm not super tall so it's pretty long on me and it will be longer or shorter on you depending on your height okay so this is a lace part wig as you guys saw at the beginning of the video so i cannot part this wig anywhere else i can just part it where you guys see it is parted at and it did have um uh, i was able to you know pull a few baby hairs out of here and lay those down as you guys see and the lace on this unit does stop right here okay so i do want to say when um styling this wig you have to be mindful with these types of units because they do have like your track is like right there so you do have to be pretty careful with styling or tweezing or anything when it comes to units that don't have like you can't part anywhere else you just have to kind of be careful with them when you style them because girl you don't want your track showing okay girl you just don't so i wanted to um throw that out there so you guys can be mindful of it now as far as the density now i said 150 percent density and that's what it is but as you guys can see it's pretty full okay it's pretty full for 150 percent density and i think the other wig that i reviewed from this company may have been 150 it may have been 180 but i can't remember but one of the things with this company is that i feel like you get a lot of bang for your book i'm not sure how much this wig costs but in my opinion their wigs are really affordable and you get really nice hair for a really affordable price which has always been one of my favorite things about this particular company okay so yeah now as far as shedding and tangling i did get some shedding but it is a curly wig and when i'm styling most if not all of my curly units when i'm running my fingers through it i always usually get some hair it's just just pretty standard with curly wigs so and it wasn't a whole lot so it really wasn't a big deal it's not a big deal to me uh i do like i said like to throw it out there it just depends on you as a person so if you as a person that's like uh -uh, uh -uh, i just wanted to throw it out there but to me it's not a big deal unless i'm getting a lot of hair um when i'm styling a curly wig it's really just not that deep girl okay now as far as it being tangly honestly this wig wasn't that tangly for a curly wig like i was able to basically just run my fingers through it so shout out to you clay for that honey i don't know if i'm saying the right <laughs> the name right like that has always been one of my things like i always feel like i'm saying the name wrong okay so yeah that's basically it now as far as it being big head friendly i think that the wig only comes in one cap size honey i could be wrong girl but i that's what i think let me see okay so i think the cap only comes in one size like i said i'm not 100 percent sure but i do i do think it only comes in one cap size and yeah y'all that is basically it now i i do think that it is pretty big head friendly um in my opinion i think it's pretty big head friendly so i think if your head is on the the bigger side you should not have any issues with this wig okay so i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick lint check and then we can get um into what all i had to do and what i think about this wig. so this is all of the hair brought to the front i hope you guys can see it on this dark green shirt i didn't think that through <laughs> and this is where it comes to me in the back so yeah y'all i think you already know girl okay i am definitely feeling this wig i feel like it was super beginner friendly i feel like it's actually a beginner's dream honey okay because it's, it's basically all you have to do is um get your lace down and it's not even a whole lot of lace to you know it's just just here to here and that's it like it's already basically done for you uh, i i think that the the hair even without me applying anything to it looked really really nice and yeah i just love it i love the unit in itself and it's easy girl okay <laughs> if you guys watch me then you know something being easy is like 
uh, my dream okay so i am definitely feeling it i think it is a look i think it is a vibe um i also want to mention that the company did send me a lot of headbands and i was like i was a little confused at first because <laughs> i was like i didn't know i was a little confused at first because i was like i didn't realize they were sending me a headband wig well, they weren't, okay? They were sending me a, a lace part wig. So I was like, what are the headbands for? And then I was like, maybe because I wore a hat in the last video that I did for this company. They was like, oh, she's an accessory girl. Let us send her some accessories. So shout out to them because the headbands that they sent are really, really cool, nice headbands. And I was super excited by them. Um, this one right here is the one that I chose to wear because I was like, oh, green. <laughs> I can put on a green turtleneck. And you guys know I love a good turtleneck, girl. And the other ones are these that look like little bandanas, but they're headbands. Oh, my God, aren't they cute? And they sent two. They sent a red one and a blue one. And I think they're so dope. Like, I love them. And then they sent a gray one, and I love this one because I love grays. I love, like, those are, like, my colors, grays and stuff. And they also sent this really cute, vibrant red one that I'm probably going to wear with a Christmas sweater on Christmas. And, yeah, I love the headbands that they sent, so shout out to them. And I was like, well, let me wear it. Since they sent them, let me go ahead and throw on a headband, okay? <laughs> so shout out to them for the really, really cool and cute and just whatever headbands. I love them. And, yeah, I love the hair. Now, as far as what I put on the hair, now, I didn't put on any gel, so this is going to puff out at some point because it's not uh the stuff that I, the products that i used weren't to maintain the wet look but if you want to obviously you can do it to keep the wet look this is gonna puff out at some point and that is kind of like the look that i always like with these types of units so yeah i just use some water i use my cantu curling mousse i use my aunt jackie's uh curling cream stuff and i also use some some foam wrapping lotion mousse on the very top to kind of lay down I know a lot of people like for their hair to look curly uh from the top to the bottom i'm not one of those people i kind of prefer uh my hair to kind of be straight at the top so a lot of times you will see the units on me and you're like well you know i prefer for my curls I, the only thing i don't like about the wig is that it's straight at the top it's not the wig girl it's me <laughs> i made the wig straight at the top i'll you literally get a hot comb to make it straight because that is just the look that i personally prefer but if you like for your wig to be curly all over obviously you can just leave it how it come girl i just don't i don't like that look that's not for me that's not my swag but different strokes for different folks so i get it but yeah it's not the wig girl it's me so yeah that is pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the full 360 and we can wrap this thing all the way i had took out my white eyeliner to do my little dots and completely forgot about them girl so i'm doing them now okay they'll be in the pictures <laughs> but anyways y'all so this is obviously the unit in the front this is it on the left side this is it in the back and this is it on the right side so yeah, I am definitely, definitely feeling this wig. If you are interested in this unit, I will have a direct link to it down below in the description box for your convenience. And we are done. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you feel like I may have left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button, sis. And if you're not ready to follow me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and Facebook. I'm Healthy Miss C on Snapchat and I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you love bugs next time. Bye. I'm sorry.